Good afternoon. I am hiding out in one of the corners of our Airbnb. It's actually really big. There's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, but the boys are both sleeping. Peter actually unexpectedly took the day off of work because of a really bad migraine and he's been sleeping just all day, which says a lot because Peter is typically someone who just powers through. But anyways, James went down for a nap. He's actually been sleeping for almost like three hours. If you had watched yesterday's vlog, you will know that he fought a nap all yesterday. So I'm sure he's just playing a little bit of catch up. Um, but they're sleeping. I've gotten everything I need to get done done. I even prepped dinner um, and everything else that I want to do, like organize our stuff and get ready for the day is in our room. So I'm going to hang out and wait for them to wake up. Who knows if we're gonna end up doing anything tonight. Probably depend on how Peter's feeling. What I'm making tonight is egg roll bowls there's not gonna be any egg but it's basically like what is inside an egg roll and instead of using meat i use rice cauliflower and mushrooms that's frying up on the left and then here are the other veggies so there's about a little more than half of a red onion shredded carrots and shredded cabbage i have not done a cook with me in so long it's crazy but i seasoned it up with garlic and ginger and salt and pepper and there's gonna be soy sauce and I'm also making some rice so that is our easy dinner and I'm still cooking plant-based we talked oh you guys are backlit like crazy Ooh, there you go we've been talking I feel like this always happens after a Disney trip like we feel better on a plant-based diet period Peter kicking up the running all that good stuff so we're gonna we're gonna do our best did you say that I was down for the come earlier? Yes, and what I wanted to come over here and say was that you guys were awake. Feeling better? Yeah. I have not had like, a migraine scope in a long time. It's always yeah. good to get ahead of them. But, like, my vision was going. The, no, the and you barely noises. ever have that. Yeah, it barely happens to me. The slightest noise was. Ooh, you got pretzel. Oh. He's like in Stranger Things. We're compiling our bowls with the rice. That looks like the inside of the egg roll. That really does, yeah. And that on top. You could use whatever kind of ground meat you want. Oh, and then I'm gonna put some pita chips on top because it could be nice to have like the shell of an egg roll. Yeah. We just have the pita chips. And then I made like a peanut sauce and put more soy sauce on it. James is on the other side of the oh, camera. And scallions. And there you go. Delicious. This is like an old school Brookhart move. Yeah. Showing up an hour before park close. Right. Animal Kingdom still closes at seven. The yeah. sun is shining. There's plenty of magic to be had, but we wanted to come here because we have not been here yet. Because of the hours. Yes. And because it's the last hour of the day and the parks haven't been that busy, Flight of Passage, five minutes. Navi River Journey, five minutes. Safari, five minutes. So we might be able to do some damage yeah. in this last hour here. We'll see.
right, we're turning the corner in Africa. The idea what we're trying right now, and we're not sure, it looks like I see a sign. We're trying to get on the safari right before park close. And we think they stop at six or six, like an hour or 30 minutes before park close is when we think they cut off the line. The last one, so. So what? says five minutes. So I'm curious if it would go to like that dash. Yeah. If they wouldn't let us. So we're trying. Three. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. We made it on. Last safari is at seven today, so we're good. Arriving shortly. Right, welcome aboard, everybody. Are entering the cooler evening hours, so we might be able to see hippo outside on the banks of the river. That's where they like to hang out at nighttime to graze. During the day, though, they pretty much stay completely submerged underneath the water. It's really well to live on the savanna ecosystem. They can go about five days without needing to drink any water. Great baby. photo opportunity of that baby, baby giraffe. He's migrating kind of behind the tree. Oh, looks like he's gonna be shy here. <laughs> Prehensile tufts that can grow to be about 18 inches. That's gonna be a really helpful tool for them in eating off of the taller trees on the savannah. Elephants have over 100,000 different muscles. Baobab trees, the large trees there, are really useful for elephants, especially during the dry seasons. They hold water inside of their tree trunks. The cheetah is one of the only bigger cats who can purr, but they are not able to roar. The male lions don't do any of the hunting. They stay back and babysit the cubs. Lions are the only big cats to live in larger groups together, called prides. And they keep track of each other's territory by using roaring. Their roars can be heard from about five miles away. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> a little crazy the back chain, huh? I guess I have any Ricky wilderness explorer scouts aboard. You've been riding on the Simba <laughs> one today. They so did it. It's seven o'clock. Park is closed. It's a pretty <gasps> no, quick just, trip. Just barely enough time for a Mickey I know. I don't think there's going to be some of them still. So do we go to Springs and get you a snack? We're supposed to go to Target tonight. Yeah. And we don't want to be out late. Hmm. We'll talk. So James, did you love the safari? Yeah, what do we think his favorite thing was? I think his favorite things were the hippos. Mm-hmm. And the fountains. And then what? The fountains. The waterfalls? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nature's fountains. So there wasn't a lot of people in the park when we got here anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of really jazzed about this. We're not going to rush out, and we're not going to mosey. Right. We're just going to go at a casual pace on the way out to the park. I bet security wouldn't let us walk towards Expedition Everest, but maybe we can take a look down yeah, and see, because then like, we're going the full, full circle. But it already looks like there's like guests being herded that way. There's a security guard right there. We'll see. There you go. A train up Expedition Everest. The last ride of the night. Maybe, yeah. Expedition Maybe Everest. Asia. Animal Kingdom's got some of the best vistas. We have another stay. Yeah, <laughs> another stay this week that we haven't told you about, and another stay next weekend that just happened today. Yeah, well, like this week. So yeah, all this week, but like yeah. Wednesday night and Saturday night. One of them is at Animal Kingdom. Hey, oh. All right, we made it to Dino Land, and we believe that the boneyard is back open and I have my own baby to bring in there and play with. I don't have to mooch off somebody else's child. <gasps> That's exciting. That is very exciting. And there's so much fun stuff in there. There is. I've been in there once before with... There. Yes. But now... This crazy kid gets to go in. <laughs> okay, this is nice. And this is nice. It has so many things represented on it. We got a sweet treat. It's actually from Pandora, it looks like. Fruits of Moana. Alpha Centauri Expeditions. And lemonade cup. <laughs> you had your feet up here for it.
beautiful tree. See you, see you later this week. If you're ever like me and have a hankering for a sweet treat, or mostly sweet, um, or I don't know, you just want something else. We never got Starbucks. Oh. We did yesterday oh, yes. at Hollywood Studios. Joffrey's is open after the park is closed. So if you're leaving Animal Kingdom, still got a hankering for something that is open. Where to now? Target. Yeah, we're not gonna go to Disney Springs. We're gonna do Target. Be happy. About I don't wanna like over, like, I don't want like. I wanna push our luck. Yeah, with like me feeling better now. Yeah. I don't know, that was freaky. Migraines were running Sarah's family, migraines running my family. I used to get them a lot often in high school, but I've only gotten like three in the past decade. So, we're gonna cross the stage away. We are at Target. We are at Target. We are at Target. Katie Target. Target. would be so proud of you. What if we run into the famous Target shopper here? <laughs> that would be exciting. Okay, we're doing a Target haul. That's for Peter. <gasps> He's taking out Eve. <laughs> we got almond milk, pumpkin spice, creamer. Um, my prenatal, this is the kind I use. Olive oil. Even though they have like most things here for like cooking, there's no food here, so I had to get that. Mascara. I've only used this one other time. Typically, I, I truly just get a new kind of mascara, but I really did like this. So I remembered. These were an impulse buy, two for $11. Can't beat it. And for some fest, fest Festivities, festiveness. Oh my god. Reese's. And two candles. This is obviously a skull, and it is called Ghoulish Gourd. What do you think? Don't mind our trail mix in the background. My favorite And then this cauldron. Cobwebs and ashes. They both smell. Super good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> James has been doing this squeaking for like the past few days and I think it's like his transition to talking but he's just been doing this like silly like vocalizations. I don't know what else to call it. I'm taking Eve for a walk but I just called Sarah to let her know to go upstairs to see if she could see fireworks because they're definitely going on. I can hear them. And that direction, like that direction is Animal Kingdom. That direction is Magic Kingdom. So I think that's Magic Kingdom going off. I don't know, we might be experiencing, I think tonight's the kind of night where there's like the trifecta of multiple park closing festivities going on at one time at nine o'clock. Okay, that's due east. I see lights, faint lights, which makes me think that's Hollywood Studios or Epcot. Magic Kingdom's gonna be a little further that way. I know you can't tell, but there's trees right there. Oh, I see a little bit of sparkle. Right at the shoreline, or the tree line. Oh, there it is. Boom, boom, that's definitely Epcot. I don't wanna say that it was placement of pizza in the oven. It's more potentially the structure of the crust because it's more of a... Uh, and it was like a weird shape. And it's tapered. <laughs> well, it's a croissant crust. Hi, James. And Sarah goes to check on the pizza and is like, oh, oh, we have a problem. And both sides of the pizza like drooped down below. Um, so I think we yeah, salvaged it. Foil under there already, right? Yeah, that is convenient. We'll have to replace that. But it, it, we saved it, but I don't, I don't think the crust like rose at all because of that part on the sides. Yeah. Oh, I tried catching him with this little sassy hip he does. He saw the pizza though. Also, apple cider for life. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank oh, James is giving kisses. Thank you. You're a very romantical child. <laughs> 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 oh gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> he looks nice, but he actually has my bun in a death grip. <laughs> and either girl. It's just the best. We may have made a mistake by getting the crescent roll crunch or crust. <laughs> So on the surface it looks pretty basic and delicious, but then when you go to pick up the pizza, it turns into layers. Total flop dude. This is the entire layer of just cheese and sauce. And then what? Over here at the broke carts. What it will always be like. What's the word I'm looking for? Headquarters. Broke cart project headquarters. We're watching like Christmas. <laughs> We're watching Christmas movies. Any eating candy corn. <laughs> and burning a black skull candle. See, while burning a we're flannel, always in the flannel. Christmas spirit. We love other holidays. Mm -hmm. But like Christmas is just forever. If you Alrighty. cut me, I bleed tinsel. <laughs> um, the pizza was delicious. Yeah, I owed an apology. It was really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's great and tomorrow I am going to get some actually just one level check my vitamin D this is key vitamin um, when trying to conceive actually most humans are deficient but it's specifically important when you're trying to conceive. you sound like me talking about scoliosis every human has scoliosis but to what degree <laughs> talking to somebody who had scoliosis surgery and it's good to be home. It's good to be home. I don't have a bloody lip. It's just my lipstick. Not um, some stayed along for the ride. I don't have a bloody lip either, but thanks for asking. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.